one belongs to Gadara. 694, 192 mile an hour pass. I'll tell you what, he scores that number one. Now he continues his winning ways. He is having a day. I'll tell you what, that, I'll tell you that bike of Matt Gadara, that thing is just unbelievable. He gave up a little bit off the starting line, but boy, he can, he knows he can afford to do that with the horsepower he's got, the runs he's making. 694, nice job. And uh, hopefully bring home a Mac tool or a uh, Gator Nationals crown here. The AC Delco Gator Nationals have been outstanding, and uh, I got to thank all of our friends at Jegs and Snap on Tools for putting us out there. All right, they're breathing a big sigh of relief. Should be an easy fix well, for the Jim finals. Ellis had a problem with his bike. He couldn't get in gear or something, but he shut it down. So it's a single run. Yeah, there he is, uh, Ellis, walking it away. Matt Gudera is having a super day. Is on his way into his fourth career final round. Let's go to John Kern. And I just talked to Chip Ellis's crew chief, Steve Tartaglia, and he told me that they're not quite sure what the problem was. It's something in the engine. When they fired it up, the engine just did not sound right to them. So rather than uh, take it down the track and risk blowing it up and having a big old mess out there, they decided to just pull the bike off of the line. Well, the stage set for all of the finals as we add in Pro Stock Motorcycle, Matt Gadara and Andrew Hines. That'll be a wonderful matchup. Matt Gadara hasn't won here. The only one in the finals because Andrew Hines won in 04. Pro Stock Motorcycle on the line. Both these riders have run in the sixes all day. Boy, this is a great matchup. The two best motorcycles going head to head here in the final. Oh, Matt. Unbelievable. Matt just rocketed out there. Andrew was just dead late. And Matt Gadira wins from the pole in his first ever number one start. Congratulations, Matt Gadira. He was ready for that. I wonder what Andrew was looking at. Well, I mean, Matt had a, had a good rack time. wasn't great, but uh, Andrew was just late out. Something had to have distracted him. But give it to Matt Gadara and that team. Great job. Take another look at it. I mean, the bike did spin the tire awfully hard, but uh, still, Andrew was dead late off of that starting line. Matt Gadara, though, like I said, give credit to that entire team. What a dominating performance, consistent all day. Matt did a great job riding a well-deserved victory. He's had a, well, about to say nearly perfect, an absolutely perfect day, and every reason to celebrate. Rick Manny, how about your day today? Did you have any problems with that bike, and all if so, what was it? Absolutely not. I've got a great crew chief, Lynn Gadara. Him and I share the tuning duties on this Mohegan Sun Rockland Motorsports Power Buell, and he was able to pick up my slack. I've had the flu, and I've been literally in the motorhome all day. This is my first time to the racetrack, so i got to give all the credit to Lynn Gadara, Matt Gadara, Vic Gadara, all the boys at Rockland Motorsports, Mohegan Sun, Brian and Linda Bosom, everybody. We've got an awesome team, and we're just cutting the cake here. You're going to see more more coming. Celebration coming tonight. Matt Gadara holding a Wally for the second time in his life, but the first time at the Gainesville Nationals. First time for you to qualify number one. What does it mean to come and back that up with a victory? Oh, it means everything. I mean, it, we had the best performing bike of the weekend. We showed it in qualifying, and all we had to do was come out here and, and win the event, you know, win every single round, and, and we did it. It was just awesome. Got to thank Mohegan Sun, Rockland Harley-Davidson, Royal Purple, Mac Tools. The crew did such a good job. Everybody back at the race shop, my brother, Len, AC Delco for putting on the Gator Nationals, ESPN, Powerade. Everybody, it's just awesome. I think it's party time. Absolutely. What a great day for Matt Gadara. In fact, when he rolled in, he got to shake hands with Willie G. Davidson, the vice president of styling for Harley Davidson. Big moment. Now let's go off to John Kernan.